Hey there guys, time for another play along video with Mrs. Steck. Today I've got my recorder and I'm gonna go through the notes, um, the rhythms and a little play along for the anvil chorus. So remember that our at our last meeting, we went through the notes G, remember thumb goes on the back, left hand on top, then A, then B, and those are the only, need, only notes that we need for the anvil chorus, okay? So G, A, and B. I'm gonna go through this piece three times. The first time, we're just going to focus on the rhythms of this piece, okay? So the rhythms are um, what tell us the pattern um, and the timing for the notes we're going to play. They have nothing to do with the notes themselves other than telling us this note goes here, this note goes here, this note goes here, okay? So we're going to start out, you can see that we have these little upside down little rectangles. Um, these are rests and they're whole rests. So each of them gets four beats, okay? So there's two of them. So four plus four is eight. I can either think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or I can think because I have this kind of strange looking fraction at the beginning of my piece, this tells me that quarter notes get one beat by the number on the bottom. But really, the most important thing is the top number is what number are we going to count to? Okay, so there's four beats here, and then there's four beats here. There's a line that separates them. So the way that I like to count is I'll count one, two, three, four, then I'll count another set of four, one, two, three, four, and then we're in. In my head, I'm just counting to four over and over and over again throughout this whole piece. We're not gonna worry about all of that. So what we're going to do instead is going to say on the rhythm, the word da behind our teeth, using our tongue like we would once we um, go ahead and start playing on the recorder. Um, when we pick up the recorder, we're not going to speak words into our recorder, but this is the, the motion that the tongue is going to make as we play, okay? And hopefully the fuzz that you, is on here will go away as I push play. One, two, three. Da 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 Da, 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 da. Okay, and that's how we do the tongue. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna speak and say it, uh, or so I'm gonna um, say the, the da on the back, and I'm also going to, as an extra visual, clap the beat. So every time my tongue hits on the back, I'm gonna clap. Da, 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 da. Okay? So here we go, clapping and saying the syllable da. Da, 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 Da 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 and that's it next thing we're going to do i'm going to go through the notes and we are going to say the notes while we put the fingers down so if we, we start on b in this piece so we're going to start b we're going to say b as we put the finger down for b b b b b 
A, A, and so on and so forth. So we only have three notes, B, A, and G, B, A, G. Okay, here we go. B, 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 A, G, A, 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 B, G, B, 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 A, G, A, 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 B, G, B, G, A, A, G, A, A, B, 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 A, G, A, 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 B, G, B, 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 A, G, A, 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 B, G, B, G, A, A, G, A, A, B, A, G, 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 B, 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 A, G. All right, last thing, we are going to play through this together, okay? Um, this is going to become a YouTube video, so and you will be able to customize this, the playback speed if you would like to. So if this is too fast for you currently, you can slow it down by going um, to the little uh, cog wheel that has, is the symbol for settings, and then you go to playback speed. Um, I like to go to custom because I feel like 0.75, um, 0.75 speed is a little bit too slow most of the time. So I'll go to custom and then I'll go to um, maybe 90 or 95. If you need just a little bit slower, 95 is great. If you need quite a bit slower, um, I probably would do 90 or 85. So um, you could customize if it's too fast. Um, if you want to challenge, you could even speed it up if you wanted to. Okay, I recommend not doing that until you get this tempo down really, really well, though. Here we go. We're playing through. chorus guys i hope this video was helpful to all of you and that you all have a great time practicing have a nice day everybody